What do coaching studies say? Coaching top executives at large companies yields five to seven times the company's initial investment. To be more precise, in a survey commissioned by the International Coach Federation and conducted by PricewaterhouseCoopers, it was found that companies that made use of professional coaching for business reasons have noticed an average return on their investment of seven times of their initial investment. Maximizing the impact of executive coaching, the Manchester Review, Volume 6, Number 1, Assess the ROI at Fortune 1000 companies for developmental coaching for senior level executives stated that the average return was nearly 5.7 times the initial investment. Metrics Global LLC was hired by a Fortune 500 company to calculate the ROI for a leadership coaching program. The results pointed out that coaching produced a 529% ROI and also fetched other immeasurable benefits to the business for instance, employee retention. A professor of clinical education at Drake University, Merrill C. Anderson at Nordtel Networks calculated employees estimated that their coaching programs earned the company a 5.2 times return on investment. It also brought major intangible benefits to the business. It included the financial benefits from employee retention that boosted the returns to 7.8 times of the initial investment. You can find the full case study at Coaching the Coaches, Psychology Today, 2004, and case study on the return on investment of executive coaching. Merrill C. Anderson, PhD, 2001. In Forbes, in a report about executive coaching, it was reported that corporate America is spending over $1 billion yearly on executive coaching. This rise in coaching is a result of the heightened focus on rising high potential leaders instead of a remedial effort to help to rail employees. And even the leaders themselves say it is working. In a study conducted by Metrics Global LLC, pointed out that companies including Booz Allen Hamilton made an average return of $7.90 for every $1 invested in executive coaching. In an internal report given by the Personnel Management Association, it was revealed that when you combine training with coaching, individuals increase their productivity by an average of 86% compared to 22% with training alone. Coaching is powerful to help people to achieve their full potential. It is not counseling or therapy. Coaching is results driven. Do you have a good coach supporting you? Or are you looking to be trained as a professional accredited coach?